Oh, hey guys, what's up? I actually didn't see you right there. Um, I guess we're just gonna start the video already. Uh, today I decided to show you guys how to make t-shirt designs in Illustrator, and maybe we're gonna make this into a series, which I'm pretty stoked about. Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comment section below. I filmed this intro so many times and I just was so bored with everything I was doing, so I wanted something more casual. I think I nailed it. Anyway, we're in Illustrator now and I have this graphic that I found on freepick.com. If you guys wanna download this graphic, go ahead and go to the description below, I linked it for you. Um, but what I recommend you guys do is actually watch the video once before you go download it. That way you kinda get an idea of what we're doing. And then the second time around, you can actually follow along. That's just my suggestion. You guys can do whatever you want though. Um, we're gonna get started. Um, so what I wanna do is actually make an artboard. So I'm gonna go to my artboards and create a brand new artboard. Let's pick a line that we like. I actually like the bottom left one, so we're gonna drag that over to the new artboard and we're gonna resize it just a little bit. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna design around this lion. Um, so he's our centerpiece, right? But we wanna create some cool stuff around him. Um, so we're gonna kind of explore different options and see what we can come up with. The cool thing about this is there's endless possibilities. There's so many different ways we can approach it. It, and there's so many different templates that we can use in our head and apply to the centerpiece, if that makes sense. I see the line right now and I'm thinking to myself, I really think a circle design would look cool with this line. So what I wanna start doing is lay out some circles and um, add a stroke to them and kind of create some sort of structure with this design. To create a circle, all you wanna do is hit L on your keyboard and that's gonna to go to your ellipse tool. When you hold in shift and drag out, you're gonna get an even circle, right? And if you press the space bar, you can actually drag it around your canvas and really get it nice and centered. Um, we don't need to worry about that too much yet. So what I wanna do is just resize it. Another thing you can do is hold in shift and option and if you resize it, it's gonna stay in the same exact spot. And from here, we can use our alignment tools to center it. What I wanna do is actually make the background transparent and I just wanna add a pretty uh, nice size stroke to it. Let's go ahead and make it a seven stroke. I think that's pretty good for now. And we're just gonna make sure, again, everything's centered. This line, I wanna make it black to match everything else because right now it is not black. So we wanna make it black. We're not gonna focus too much on color today because I really wanna focus more on the structure of designs because I think that's more important currently. And if you guys are just getting into design, that's gonna get you a lot further than just knowing how to color a design, if that makes sense. Um, with that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this circle a little bit smaller. It's a little too big, I think. So we're gonna really get it in there. So we have one circle and the stroke width is seven points, which is really good. Now we're gonna do a shortcut. We're gonna do Command C and we're gonna do Shift Command V and that's gonna paste it in place. It's not gonna look like it did anything, right? Because it's hiding on the same circle that you dragged out. But what we wanna do is we wanna select that circle and we wanna trust our program here. And when you drag that out, you're gonna see there is two circles. So you just have to kind of trust that it worked if that makes sense. Um, you can also do this in the edit menu. You don't have to do the shortcuts if you don't feel like it or if you're not comfortable with those yet. Another thing that I really wanna explore more is this line. I think it could be a little bit bigger, so we're gonna try that real quick. We're gonna make them just a little bit bigger, not too much bigger. Originally, I wanted that line to be bigger than that center circle, but I decided against that because I actually like the way he fits in here. So we're just gonna keep him the same for now. Um, what we wanna do now is lay down some text and then kind of fit other design elements around that text. So again, we're structuring this design step by step, right? We're starting from the centerpiece, which is a lion, and we're building around him in order to create something cool. Now what we wanna do is create another copy of our center circle. So we're gonna select it, we're gonna do Command C, and then do Shift Command V, and that's gonna paste it. And then we're gonna go to our Type on a Path tool, we're gonna to hover over that line, you're gonna see a little wavy line, you have to really zoom in on it, and then you're gonna start typing on that path. So we're gonna type out something like lion, Design. I don't know, for now we're just gonna say line design. I know that's so unoriginal, but uh, that's just to get us started. We're gonna resize this text, so we're gonna go up to like 30 points on it. And then from here, what I wanna do is make sure the text is centered. When you center align your text, it's gonna look really weird and ugly, but you can use these little brackets right here to realign your text. So it's really simple to do. And if I drag all the way up on it, you can see it's re-centering my text. Another way to look at them is they're kinda like handles, right? You can move those handles around in order to, again, center your text the way you want it. So um, you just kind of have to play with them and get very familiar with using them. Uh, so anyway, I'm selecting my text. What I wanna do is go to my character palette. Within the character palette, there's something called baseline shift and it's all the way at the bottom left, it has an A. When you raise your baseline shift, you're gonna take your text off that line that you originally created the path on, if that makes sense. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm saying. So if I keep going, you can see that it's gonna actually help me center my text within those two circles that we created. And that's exactly what I wanted. Another thing that I like to do is I like to select the font that I wanna use. So what I wanna do is actually go to DDC Hardware, and that is one by Aaron Draplin. I really love his font so much. It's such a cool font. 
So we're gonna go to DDC Hardware. You can actually find this font really easily online. You just type in DDC Hardware and you're gonna find it. It's that easy. So um, now that we have the font selected that we wanna use, we can also resize it again because it's a little too small. We're just gonna type out something completely random because I want the text to be longer than this. So we're gonna type out the Lion, let me see, the Lion Fitness Crew. I don't know, we could put whatever we want. I can't come up with anything right now. So we're just gonna put the Lion's uh, the Lion Fitness Crew, that's fine. Another thing that I realize needs to be changed is the baseline shift is a little off, so we're gonna change that right now before we're continuing on. And then what we wanna do is copy the text. So I'm selecting the text, do Command C, do Shift Command V, and that's gonna paste it. Remember, it's gonna be on top of the original layer that you copied. From here, it looks like nothing happened, but what we can do is we can take this little handlebar down here and we can reposition this text. When you're dragging these handles around, you wanna make sure the text is at the bottom, right? It's hugging the bottom, and then you can let go from there, and then we wanna go up to Character, and we wanna change the baseline shift again. So we're changing the baseline shift so it's on the same line as the other text, if that makes sense. Basically, you just wanna line it up. And then from here, we also need to change the kerning. So I'm gonna double tap on the text. I'm gonna hold an option. And then I wanna use the left arrow key on my keyboard in order to change that kerning because the letter spacing was off. Let's just put it that way. We ran into a problem because since 1991 is way too long and too big to fit at the bottom. So we can do one of two things. We can make it smaller and change the kerning so it's more spread out or we can just change the kerning of the top text line, right? And that's exactly what I wanna do. So we wanna select the top text line by double tapping it. And it's important to uh, be on the T tool, your type tool. Um, it's pretty simple to remember if you're customizing type, make sure you're on the type tool. That's all you have to do. Um, from here, we wanna hold an option and we wanna hit the left arrow key again, and we're just gonna give it some breathing room, just like this, see? And now we have some breathing room. From here, we can separate the text even more if we wanted to. We can add a circle in between the text lines, or we can just take the pen tool, which is what I'm gonna do, and drag a line out across. And from here, we can change the stroke to seven to match the other stroke that we have. And look at that, guys, we have some separation. The line looks pretty good for now, but you could definitely do more tweaking on it if you want to. Um, instead of like copying that though and putting it on the other side and having to do all this flipping, I'm gonna actually use a reflect tool and I'll show you guys exactly how it works. So I'm selecting that new line that we created with the pen tool and we're gonna go to reflect or you can just hit O on your keyboard to go to reflect. And what we wanna do is find a center point. So we're gonna go to the bottom here, find that center point, hold an option and it's gonna actually pop up this reflect menu and you wanna reflect it vertically and you can actually preview that. So once you check preview, you're gonna see where it's landing on the right hand side and if you're happy with the way that looks, you can hit copy, don't hit okay. If you hit okay, it's just gonna reflect it and it's not gonna create a duplicate copy. So let's go ahead and zoom out real quick and look at it. Guys, look how awesome that is and we created it in minutes. That's how you create a design around a centerpiece. We took a line, we built a design around it, focusing on structure, some basic type, and that's it guys. That's all there is to it. This has been episode one of how to make a t-shirt design using Illustrator. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash the thumbs up button if you love the video, guys, and you already know what to do. Find the llama in the room. Did you guys find it yet? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are ever wondering where I get my music, I actually use epidemicsound.com. I have a link in the description below. You guys can try it out for free for 30 days, and if you guys like it, you can sign up. So totally worth it. I've been using Epidemic Sound for about a year now, and I can honestly say that I've never ran out of uh, music choices. There's so many options to choose from, different genres to choose from. It's totally worth every penny. So anyway, check them out if you guys are interested in that. But that is basically it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Guys, check out the community tab. It's popping on my channel. I'm always posting in that community tab, always on Instagram. I'm getting it, guys. We're, we're always doing something on this channel. We're always learning and we're being awesome and we're drinking a lot of coffee. We're getting really caffeinated in these videos. We're in paradise all the time here because we're always creating some cool stuff, eye-catching stuff, top-notch stuff on this channel. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.